and happy Diwali to everyone. I'm very, very happy and excited to be introducing the Deepa Valley Day Act this week alongside members of the Congressional Indian Caucus, which will enshrine Diwali into law as a And happy Diwali to everyone. I'm very, very happy and excited to be introducing the Deepa Valley Day Act this week alongside members of the Congressional Indian Caucus, which will enshrine Diwali into law as a federal holiday. I'm honored to be joined uh, with my friend and colleague on the committee I chair and also in Congress, Raj Krishnamurthy, who is an original co-sponsor of this historic legislation. I'm also very proud and happy to have my friends from the Indian American community, many from the community that I am honored to represent here with me today to speak up about the importance of this legislation to the Indian American community in New York and across the United States and really important to everyone in the United States. Uh, included today is the national president of the Association for Indian Americans, Dr. Uromilish Arya. Dr. Sumita Sengupta, a dear personal friend from the community I'm privileged to represent, and her mother, the first Indian American to be elected as a district leader in our country. We're so proud that she's here today with her grandson. And the India Aspra's executive director, Sanjay Yo Jo Shapura. Thank you all for being with me today. And I am very proud to celebrate with you the victory of light over darkness, the triumph of good over evil, and the pursuit of knowledge over ignorance, as we do every day. It is truly appropriate that Diwali this year symbolizes our nation's continuing journey out of the darkness of COVID-19 and the terrible effects that the pandemic had on the people of our nation. Celebrations like Diwali speak to the core of what we all desire our nation to be, a beacon of happiness, healing, learning, and light in uncertain times. My colleagues, Indian American community leaders, and I believe that there is no better time to enshrine Diwali as a federal holiday than in the wake of this terrible, dark pandemic. I have worked for many years to get Diwali the respect it deserves in the United States government, starting in 2016 when I introduced a bill to create the Diwali stamp. And successfully, after several years of efforts, the United States Postal Service issued a commemorative Diwali stamp. It has become one of the most successful in our nation's history, raising money for the U.S. Post Office. Now I'm ready to put the same hard work into advocating for the stamp that I did for the stamp to enshrining Diwali next to Christmas, Memorial Day, Martin Luther King's Day, Valentine's Day, Juneteenth Day as a federal holiday. But even as we celebrate these days of light together and person, we must go even further beyond and continue efforts in Congress to enshrine that the significant um, cultural uh, contributions of Indians and the Indian American community are given honor and the importance and respect as appropriately as any that have come before in our 200 year history. It's very uh, appropriate that the world's largest democracy and the world's oldest democracy are such good friends and allies. In September, I proudly reintroduced H.R. 5022 to award Mahatma Gandhi the Congressional Gold Medal. It is appropriate that he receives it Two other great leaders have received the Congressional Gold Medal, the largest honor that can be given by Congress, that is Martin Luther King and also Nelson Mandela. And both of these great leaders credited Gandhi for his leadership and inspiration in their political journey for peace and justice. Now it's time to grant the festival a light and by extension our our national Indian American community, the recognition it so rightly deserves uh, by Diwali, having it observed uh, by the millions of uh, Indian Americans in America and the 
and those hundreds of millions of people across the world that celebrate Diwali. It is a testament to the incredible cultural vi vibrance uh, and, and, and uh, intellectual leadership contributions of the Indian American community to the United States. It deserves recognition as a federal holiday, and I want to thank all of you for joining me today for the introdu introduction of this historic bill. Uh, happy Diwali! And I, I'm very thrilled that the chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee and the county leader of the Great Borough of Queens, Gregory Meeks, is with us, and I'm going to call upon him. Thank you for joining us with your very busy, busy uh, schedule, and his uh, leadership will be critical in passing this bill. Thank you. Let me thank the chairwoman of the Government and Oversight Committee. Thank you for her hard work, her diligence, her vision of who we are as Americans and the diversity that we have in our great nation. She's doing this because it's the right thing to do to make sure that we're celebrating Diwali, light over darkness, which is what we're about, history and culture of individuals who've come from India and now are great residents and citizens of the United States of America. And what the United States is, it's about the collectiveness of all of us, the acknowledgement of all of us, the celebration that we should all share collectively together, the lighting of lights. That's what this is all about. So. To my friends and to my partner in Queens and here in the United States House, to Raj, who comes from the great state of Illinois and who always articulates how to get us closer together and working together across all of America. So this is something that should be shared with all of us in American society, it's a good day because we're talking about light over darkness. And that's what this is really about. So thank you, Carolyn. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Work. Thank you for finding the time to come. And we will be working with you from the House Foreign Affairs Committee. I can tell you we will be supporting this and advocating and moving forward with this great bill. Thank you. Thank you. And now it's my privilege to turn the podium over to my good friend and colleague on the Government Oversight Committee. He's one of the most active members of Congress. He is truly a, a star, a light in our co Congress, Raj Krishnamurthy. Good morning. Namaste. Namaste. It, it is so, it's such an honor to be with you. Quite frankly, it's an honor to be someplace they pronounce your name properly. <laughs> <laughs> When I first ran for Congress, I think I told a couple of you, I told Greg and my good friend, Chair, Chairwoman Maloney, uh, I introduced myself. I said, hi, my name is Raja Krishnamurthy. And the person in Chicago looked right back at me and said, Roger Christian Murphy. Very nice <laughs> to meet you. And then he said, I didn't know the Irish made it to India. <laughs> so in any case, I, I, I want to observe those three rules of public speaking. Be short, be sweet, and be gone. And so the first point I want to make is I want to say a big thank you to Chairwoman Maloney and Congressman and Chair Meeks for being here to support Diwali. They are dear friends of mine, uh, people that I talk to every single day, work with every single day. Their heart is in the right place, and their heart is in the place of inclusion, diversity, uh, recognition of everybody in America and making sure it's welcome to everybody in America. Are you with me on that? Yes. Yes. Okay. So they are the finest, among the finest people you're going to meet in Congress. And to have them pushing this, especially the chairwoman in the Oversight Committee and the chairman in the Foreign Relations Committee, means that this thing is going to happen. So let's make sure uh, to give them a big round of applause. Second point, uh, happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. You know, um, 
tomorrow is the official start of Diwali, but I think all of us have started eating the goodies already this week. My mother uh, delivered our goodies, my wife's mother delivered her goodies, and so we're eating our savory snacks and sweets all week. Uh, there are no calories this week, by the way, uh, for Diwali. Uh, but in a, on a more serious note, as both the chairwoman and the chairman mentioned, it's about light triumphing over darkness. Um, and as the chairwoman rightly pointed out, Mahatma Gandhi is one of our um, heroes in this country and for all of humanity. And as he said, um, be the change you wish to see in the world. On this holiday of Diwali, we should say, be the light you wish to see in the world. Be the light in your community that is needed to dispel the darkness. Be the light in this community that brings hope to the hopeless. Let us be the light that helps the last, the least, and the lost. Are you with me on that? Yes. Yes. That is what Diwali is about. Yes. Yes. And that is why Diwali needs to be a federal holiday. Yes. So third and final point is this. Diwali is about celebrating the holiday, but it's also about celebrating Indian Americans. That's right. Yes. You know, Indian Americans number four million people. And like my family, many of you came to this country with nothing in your pockets, or very little. But because of your education, your culture, and your work ethic, you have now become some of the most successful people in the greatest country the world has ever known, the United States of America. And so, not only that, but you've become the pride of one of the great civilizations of the world in India. And so I stand on your shoulders to reach for the stars to be in the gr world's greatest deliberative body, the United States Congress. And so although you don't live in my district, I represent you. I represent your values, everything that makes you great, good, just, decent people in the world's greatest country. And so now I just want to close by saying this, which is that um, on this day, uh, let us remember uh, our blessings, let us remember our friends, let us remember our family, but also let us remember those who aren't with us today. And let us remember that in their memory and in their honor and in the honor of all of our relatives and friends and family, we are going to make America and the world a better place this coming year as Diwali commences a prosperous, peaceful, and um, a successful year for all of us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Raja. Thank That's you. A, a beautiful statement to all of us. And, and our next uh, speaker is Dr. Sumita Sengupta. Sumita. And she is from uh, New York in my district and a, a leader in the community, the Indian American community, the civic community, every community. Thank and she you. is definitely light over darkness, I'll tell you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, I cannot express how happy I am that we're all here together in this historic moment, and it is a historic moment. This is what America is all about. And let me tell you, we came, my parents came here over 55 years ago with a big dream that their children will come here, be educated here, and be very successful, and be giving back not only to America, but to their uh, motherland, India. And so we have aspired to do that. So I'm an educator by profession, a retired superintendent and professor, but I never stop my civic duty in my community and to the nation and to India because that was instilled in us. So the appropriateness of this landmark bill, and I have to thank you for uh, putting it out there and for Raja to joining us, and we need everybody to join us, and a special thanks to Greg who I was texting furiously to come, <laughs> and he dropped everything and came, and I'm very appreciative of that. This is the leadership that believes in diversity. And diversity isn't just a word in a dictionary or in an EEO guidelines. Diversity means we respect everyone. We believe that everyone has an equal footing in society. And this Diwali bill is representative of our democratic values, which is we embrace everyone, all cultures, all faiths. When I was designing this bill and I approached uh, Carolyn Maloney and we had an event to talk to her about this bill and she graciously said yes, we said it's not just for Indian Americans. 
it's for all people in the world because what is it representing? It's representing that we believe goodness will prevail, that knowledge will prevail over ignorance, light will prevail over darkness, and that we can succeed whether it's our personal hurdles or our hurdles in our community or our hurdles in our nation or global hurdles, together we can do it. And that's why you light the lamp because you remember your faith, your good values, and your goodness in humanity. And across all cultures, and I was so shocked doing research on this bill, that cultures I never thought celebrated Diwali, celebrate Diwali. In Pakistan, it is a national holiday. Hmm. And uh, there are many countries around the world, it is a national holiday. So why not the United States of America, which is the greatest representation of freedom and democracy? So thank you for joining us for the New York delegation that came out for India Spora and for all the our elected uh, officials here, for Carolyn, for Greg, and for Raja. This is just the beginning, and together we can. And thank you so much. Namaste, happy Diwali, and all good wishes for the coming year. Thank you. Thank you. And Mrs. Uma Sengupta, who is a district leader, the first Indian American woman elected district leader in the great borough of Queens. And we are so honored that she is here with us today. You missed my Diwali. How was it here? But he's here. He's here. Namaste. Namaste. And good morning, Kachi. Good evening. First, I like to congratulate and best wishes for my friend. Thank you. Instead of talking to Diwali, I just want to say how amazing she is. Mm -hmm. Day by day, I came to know about her so much. I'm surprised. And most best thing, she's a very good friend of India. Any issues, anything comes. She's the first one stood up and fight for us. I congratulate Thank you. Thank you. And that is second person standing next to me. He's the one went to India and stood in front of Taj Mahal <laughs> and just like that. <laughs> so this both people knows Indian culture, Indian heritage and they know how important is Diwali. I like to say we did very small thing in Queen's Public Elementary School. The children get the day off. Only Indian children who celebrate the Diwali. But this is, we have to make it national issue. Like Mrs. Maloney said, we have different, different type of holidays. We have Rosh Hashanah, we have Yam Kapoor, we have President's birthday holiday. Diwali is not only for Indians now. Billions of billions of people are celebrating the Diwali in whole world. Every nationality is joining because this is a simple issue and idea. You light your lamp, what you are going to light. Light your life. Lighting the lamp is light your life and the evils, the darkness, everything goes away. You become prosperous, you got the happiness and you enjoy the family life with lighting the lamp. I think this Diwali holidays with Congressman Maloney other side, my friend, Mr. Mix, Congressman Mix, I'm sorry, definitely will come forward and I hope by next year we are going to get a Diwali holidays. Come on, give a big clap to Caroline and I have to say one thing, when he went to India, he walked miles and miles to see a place called Kumatoli. There, all the people, poor people, used to live 12 people in one room, 20 people in one room. He's the one requested the chief minister, and now they have the building. 
250 apartments, but they don't like it. They said, it's, our chopri is better. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much, and thank you, the press. And Raja left. Raj, thank you very much, and thank you all the people who took the trouble to come from Newark to here for this important issue. Thank you very much, and God bless you all. Thank you so much, Mrs. Sengupta. And Dr. Umisha Arya. Good morning, Honorable Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney and the Chairperson of the Foreign Relations. I'm very proud to stand here with the Congresswoman and the Chairperson. I represent the Association of Indians in America in the capacity of President of the National AIA. And on behalf of all the members of the Association, I thank you very much congresswoman and the chairperson to make this bill possible. I urge strongly the Congress and the uh, Senate of the United States that please pass this bill because this represents the heritage and culture of India. This represents the two democracies strong friendship. So and this uh, you all know about the Diwali to bring the peaceful and happiness of the life by when we light up the dia, we commemorate, we, uh, the parents and children, they pray together to have a peaceful, happy life. So, and this is the message to every human life to have a peaceful, happy life and uh, remove the evils from their life. So I urge you strongly, please pass this bill. Whatever help is needed, we are here to do it. Any amount of signatures you need, we are here to get it done. So please get it done. Uh, this will bring the more strength between the oldest democracy and the strongest democracy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And Dr. Susmita Jasti. Thank you, Congresswoman, Thank for you. giving us the uh, introducing the bill. And uh, Congressman Gregory Meeks, thank you for being here. And Raja Krishnamurti is gracious to attend the event also. Um, Dr. Jasti, practicing in Brooklyn for long, many years. I volunteered my work with Art of Living Foundation for over many years. And we, uh, our ma mission is to create violence-free, stress-free societies around the world. Diwali is a festive celebration, is good conquering evil. And Diwali inspires us to light the lamp of love in our hearts, light the lamp of abundance and contentment in our homes, and light the lamp of compassion to a sense um, to serve others with the sense of oneness that unifies us. Establishing Diwali as a natural, uh, national holiday honors, celebrates the rich cultural fabric of our nation. Hi it highlights of this importance of this uh, bill is liberation, knowledge, and bringing wisdom in times of darkness, especially we are coming out of COVID crisis. The mental health is in high proportions. Any celebration is needed at this time. Thank you for introducing Thank the you. bill. Thank you, and Dr. Jasti. And our last speaker. Congresswoman, uh, is, uh, Congressman Meeks has to leave. Would you like the man with him? OK, sure. And mm -hmm. then Sorry, that's not Yeah. <laughs>
build it in. Yeah, yeah, that's the build back better. better. Oh, we're going to put it that way. We are removing the image from this country, yeah, from yeah, India, yeah. from yes. everybody's life. Yeah, absolutely. And bringing happiness and peace. That's what we do all the parents and the children together. Light up the room. Yeah. These are all And our last speaker is Sanjeev Joshapura. Oh, he's not here. I'm, I'm not. Babu Jaski. You are. Babu Jaski. Bob Majaski. Babu Jaski. Bob Majaski. Jaski. And it doesn't say anything. Oh. Okay, give me a card. <laughs> so I have it. I don't have it. Okay. Uh, Sanji jo 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 pr 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 jo pr yes. Okay, let him speak you, and then you hand me your card. No, okay? Yes. Okay. okay. Let me get your card. Good morning, good evening, because I know this is being live streamed to several time zones and happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. <laughs> I'm in diaspora is so honored to be here today. Thank you so much, Representative Maloney, for your leadership. Delighted also to have Representatives Meeks and Krishnamurthy supporting this, uh, as have others uh, that are working with uh, the chairwoman. Let me take a quick moment to introduce in diaspora. We are a nonprofit organization founded in 2012 by the investor and entrepreneur in California, M. R. Rangaswamy. We are a coalition of nonprofit of, of Indian diaspora leaders in the United States and worldwide in many different countries and leaders resident in India across a variety of different professions. We focus on philanthropy, on entrepreneurship, and on nonpartisan political and civic engagement. Now, in diaspora has a long tradition of working on Diwali, indeed with the Congresswoman. Uh, in 2015, we celebrated a Diwali function in the Library of Congress. In 2016, we worked very closely with Representative Maloney's leadership to get the Diwali stamp passed and issued by the United States Postal Service. We have worked with numerous partner organizations to host Diwali functions in the library of, in, 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 in Congress, uh, culminating in fact just last week, where in diaspora and a group of partners hosted the Diwali celebration, which we were honored to have Chairwoman Maloney present there as well. Now, Diwali is a holiday celebrated by several faiths, Hindus, Sikhs, Jains, and Buddhists. And what could be more appropriate at a time like this, when the world is just now beginning to come through a period of darkness, to celebrate Diwali, which at its essence is a time of light over darkness, a celebration of light over darkness. America, at its best, has always been a country that welcomes and embraces our diversity and uses it as our strength. Diversity of faith, diversity of thought, races, ethnicity, and so forth. And would it not be a wonderful thing to add to this mosaic that we cherish, the mosaic that we call America, if Diwali could also be enshrined as a federal holiday? So thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, and thank you so much for your help on passing the Diwali stamp. And uh, I look forward to your help from India Spora on, on passing the bill. Honor, thank you. Okay, Dr. Babu Jasti. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Congressman thank you. Thank you. Uh, Maloney, and uh, Raja Krishnamurti and Gregory Mix. Um, Diwali is uh, it's not a one day celebration, it's usually celebrated for a whole month in some parts of India. Uh, especially in the month of November and uh, October and November. It uh, dates back to 2,500 years. And there are many reasons for the celebrations. Different part of the uh, country, you know, India, separate for different reasons. But basic philosophy is uh, triumph, light 
over darkness, triumph of wisdom over ignorance, and love over hate. This is the bottom line of the, what Diwali literally means, light, a row of lights. So when you light, there's da darkness disappears when there's light. So also when there's wisdom, ignorance disappears. When there's love, there's no hatred. So I wish everybody, it's not just for Hindus, Buddhists, or Jains, or Sikhs. I think this is for everybody to celebrate, especially in the present atmosphere. So I again thank uh, Congresswoman Maloney, Raja Krishnamurti, and uh, Gregory Meeks for the presence and sponsor. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Okay. That concludes our uh, presentation. Are there any questions? Well, happy Diwali. On to passage.